So the technology for performing vitrectomy has really changed very little since 1972 when, when Robert McCormer invented his 17-gauge single-port multifunctional pneumatic cutter. So vitreous is aspirated into a needle, and then a guillotine blade cuts what has been aspirated. Now, over these 45 years, we've learned that, that the faster that you cut, the less is the amount of traction on the, on the vitreous, and therefore the decreased risk there is to the retina. So today, modern vitrectomy technology operates at speeds of up to 5,000 cuts per minute. But suppose we could increase the rate of cutting, not from 5,000 to 10,000, but from 5,000 to 2 million cuts per minute. And every vitrector works by sucking and then cutting, but suppose that we could cut the vitreous first and then just aspirate that which has been cut. So if you, if you could increase the cutting rate to two million cuts per minute, cut first and then aspirate, wow, you could really decrease the amount of vitreous traction that occurs in vitrectomy. Introducing, introducing hypersonic liquefaction. If I can just back up one, if I could. So this is a new attachment to the Stellaris PC that in place of the conventional dual needle guillotine cutter, replaces it with a single needle designed with a small continuously open port. The needle is mounted on a, on a uh, picoelectric transducer element that vibrates harmonically to create a cutting rate of approximately 1.7 million cuts per minute. So now the video on the left showed you a 5,000 cut pneumatic cutter, and you can clearly see how the vitreous is pulled in and then cut. And you can see the traction that occurs on the vitreous continuously. While on the right, with hypersonic vitrectomy, the cutting is occurring so quickly that you are essentially having little, if any, vitreous traction at all. The photo on the left is an electron, electron micrograph showing the, the vitrectomy specimen after pneumatic cutting, and you can see that the collagen matrix of the vitreous is intact, while on the right, after hypersonic liquefaction, most of the collagen has already been fragmented. So again, comparing. Compared to the guillotine cutter, the port is open 100% of the time. The port size is about half the size and speeds are occurring at approximately one and a half to two million cuts per minute. I'd like to also share with you a second innovation, and this is a different way to, in order to make the scleral incision that we need to do vitrectomy. So the graph below each video shows the amount of pressure that is required in order to puncture the, the, the globe. And you can see on the left, so this is manually, how it's done manually. We mark, say, three, three and a half millimeters posterior to the limbus. And then you see the pressure right there as we push in order to put, the, to put the, the valve into the eye. Compared on the right with our auto inserter, notice, notice here that there is almost no pressure that goes as we insert the, our cannula in, into the eye. Suppose this was a soft eye. Just think what a difference it would make if we could insert our cannulas in a soft eye with so little pressure. So hypersonic vitrectomy and the autoinserter. Two ways the Bausch and Lam is improving vitroretinal surgery for the benefit of doctors and patients. Thank you. Thank you.